Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and honor and glory that's definitely due to Yahweh, Bahashiv, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Bukai Kadash. I'm from the prophets in Babylon out of the Waco, Texas camp, affiliated with the branch of prophets in Babylon, Tampa Bay, Florida. My name is Atiyat. I'd like to give a special double honors to the elders and apostles on down at Great Millstone. Those fine, sincere brothers who teach well and who rule well and are great examples to us brothers out, out here. And peace and salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel. Lesson for today, Isaiah 4 and 1 means what it means. And Lord willing, I hope and pray that it'll be an edifying lesson. So, um, this is like a chime in response um, because there's a, a lady, an Eve out there that, that was saying that Isaiah 4 and 1 means that, you know, that seven women, basically women will come up to the men of the Lord and be taught by the men of the Lord saying that you know you know that the men will you know most of the men will be uh, 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 Mose um, what have you or they'll be dead you know uh, Pookie and Ray Ray types you know because we already know that you know, the Lord is going to destroy these Pookie and Ray Rays. And, and then you got other men that will be, in, you know, held in detention centers. Um, and then you have a great majority of the men that's going off to war, you know. So the men of the Lord will be, the, will, will, uh, be sought after by these women. And it won't be to be taught by the men of the Lord. Isaiah 4 and 1 means exactly what it means. And so that, without further ado, I'm going to go into it. And Lord willing, I hope it, it, again it will be an edifying lesson. So I, Isaiah 4 basically goes you know um, continue it, 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 um, Isaiah 3 going into chapter 4 is a continuation from chapter 3 because it tells you that the men will be off into war you know and, and, and how these women are going to be they're going to be in a, a in a destitute state you know all that pride and and and, and um, all the pride and, and proudness, you know, overconfidence, all that's going to go away. So it's going into chapter 4, it tells you, and in that day, but starting in verse 1, and in that day seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, we will eat our own bread, wear our own apparel, only let us be called by thy name, to take away our reproach. So when it says only let us be called by thy name, that means that she she's up she wants to come up under the that the men of the Lord. And that, that particular man that's of the Lord, you know, to take away our reproach. Yeah, so these, these women will have a uh, a mindset to where they're willing to come up under a man and be told what to do. You know, that man will be her covering. So uh, let me get it also here in the... Uh,
in the NLT. So this is uh, Isaiah 4 and 1 in the NLT. And in that day, so few men will be left that seven women will fight for each man, saying, let us all marry you. Hmm. So it doesn't say that, that, that they come to be, you know, seeking um, this truth and knowledge that the men of the Lord have. It's saying that they, they, they want to marry him. And we all, us brothers who are in this truth know that Marriage is is uh, marriage is sex. Sex is marriage. You know, when you lay down with a woman, that woman becomes, you know, uh, your possession. So she becomes your wife. So it says, "Let us all marry you. We will provide our own food and clothing. Only let us take your name, so we won't be." mocked as old maids yeah so this woman is saying that hey this is this is all about you know we're going to get the information from the men of the lord and that's it so you know everything is going to be real violent out here you know it's like uh jacob's trouble is described like a time like no other that's been on this earth so, do you really think that the woman is going to come up just to get knowledge? Which is nothing wrong with getting the knowledge, but, but you know, with all that's going on, that'll be going on out here, do you really think that a woman is going to just want the knowledge and that's it? It makes no sense, but it goes back to, you know, um, Proverbs chapter 9, verse 13. Let me get it right quick. A foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knoweth nothing. Yeah, so, you know, these women, they are know, they know nothing and they are foolish and clamorous. Clamorous means loud, you know? And, and a lot of these E's out here, beginning with Judah on down, are very loud and, you know, are real loud, you know? And, you know, the woman is simple and knoweth nothing and, and as well as foolish. And that, you know, for her to say what she said, you know, it just backs up what the Bible is saying through the spirit of y'all about sending y'all a shout, man. You know? Because then that time, uh, these women are gonna need protection. And only the men of the Lord, the ones that y'all about sending y'all a shot is dealing with, those men, those are men who are of the elect, are gonna are, are gonna be able to provide that. Isaiah 32 and 2. And a man shall be a hiding place from the wind, a covert from the tempest, riv as rivers of water in a dry place, a shadow in a at the at the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. Yeah, so you know, um, the men will be a hiding place from the wind, a covert from the tempest, uh, like rivers of water in a dry land, you know? A, a, a great rock in a weary land, you know? So being, you know, that the men of the Lord are described that way, what would make you think that a woman would not want to be under that covering? Because that's that's what really the scripture is talking about when you talk about Isaiah four and one, you know. Now to further back that up, let's go into another one I thought about. We got two more scriptures and I'm gonna close it out. Uh, Zechariah. Zechariah chapter eight and verse twenty-three. 
Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, of hosts, in those days it shall come to pass, talking about Jacob's trouble, that ten men shall take hold, take hold out of all languages of the nations, and even shall take hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew, saying, we will go with you, for we have heard that the, that Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is with you. Yeah. So these women will will uh, go along with these men with the men of the Lord. You know, the ones that Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is dealing with. With all that going on, these women are going to need protection. You know, um, the movie Book of Eli, it shows you where the woman was looking for uh, Denzel Washington Washington to protect her, you know? So for that woman to say what she was saying was just foolish, you know? And like the scripture tell you in Job chapter 38 and 17, wisdom and, knowledge, wisdom and understanding was not given unto the woman, so... You know, Yahweh Yahushua deprived her of it. But yet, she wants to speak, the, you know, talk the scriptures, which, you know, that's why I say that, a, you know, the, that a man should be, you know, teaching the word, not not a woman. She botched the scripture up, man. Uh, there's another scripture I want to go into. Isaiah... 13. But this is what Yahweh Bashem Yahweh has planned for the you know the elect men. Isaiah 13 and 12. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of old fear. So you know um, in those days the Lord is going to exalt his men. You know, so for her to sit there and say what she's saying, it just shows you that, you know, she erred not knowing the scriptures, you know, and at the end of the day, you know, she shouldn't be teaching the scriptures no way. And that's perfect example of it right there. So Lord willing, I hope and pray that this is an edifying lesson to you brothers and you sisters out here. And once again, I'd like to give all praises and honor and glory that's definitely due to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Bakakadash. Special double honors to the elders and apostles on down at Great Millstone. And peace and salutations to the elect of the nation of, of Israel. Until the next time, Lord willing, I say Shalom.